Hello, and welcome to episode 6 of The Long Dark Survival. And uh, I just wanted to show you guys this. Um, this is our game so far, the Voyager. We have played a total of uh, 3 days, 22 hours, and we've only explored 3%. I just thought we had explored so much already, uh, but we've only done 3% of the map. So this place is huge. This is uh, Desolation Point. Uh, well processing location and this is just one small part of the overall map so we've got we've got a lot of exploring to do let's go ahead and resume our game um, now I am a little bit concerned uh, starting off because we only have a little we're, we're like halfway tired already as we begin the day if I had some coffee it'd probably help um, I don't know if I have any Coffee. We've got. Oh, we do have one cup of coffee and a couple of teas. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and set out. Uh, we can always make more coffee. I would like to lighten up a little bit. Let's let's bring out our lantern. Get a little bit of light going on. Um, where's the lantern? Here we go. Okay, so let's head downstairs, and uh, we're going to lighten our load a little bit before we head out and explore. I want to make sure we have enough uh, wood fuel to stay warm if we find a cave or something. Um, so let's check our inventory, see what we can drop. Uh, I want to drop food we're really not going to be able to eat. Cause those are those are in bad shape. We got to find some food because um, we really don't have much at all other than these sodas. Clothing wise, looks like we have... Oh, we could probably put on some clothing. Let's see what... Yeah, let's put these on. And I think that's about it. Okay, what can we drop? So we're wearing all of the clothing we are carrying. Can we drop any of this stuff? Uh, I'm going to drop these. Drop two of these. I want to keep the fuel. Well, we do have a lot of sticks and stuff. Um, but let's hang on to that for now. What else can we drop? 12 cloth. Let's drop six of these. And why are we so heavy? What are we... What are we carrying? Let's drop these tools for now. Um, let's make sure this is all loaded up. Let's get out our gun and see if we can... Uh, probably would have been better if I just dropped that. Huh? Let's try that again. drop this. There we go. So let's um, place that there. Get out our revolver and reload. Nice. Those shells all end up down here. I don't know. Okay. So now we can drop some of the uh, bullets, I think. Let's drop those. And drop these. Okay, 
can drop those. Drop that. We're still heavy. Man. I guess is it the water? So let's uh let's drop some water now. I guess it's just our clothing, maybe? It's just really heavy. Do have a lot of torches or uh, flares? And I think I think we're about ready. Okay, so let's head out. We are going to head out and explore. Let's put our lantern away. And how do we get out of here? Door over here. Uh. I think I just went in a big circle. Yep. <laughs> so we don't want to go upstairs. Where is that door? Not sure why I'm missing this. I'll probably just skip through this so you don't have to watch me sit and look around everywhere. This is driving me nuts. That's pretty cool. I never noticed there were boats up there. have to go upstairs. Okay, guess we're just gonna go out this door. Because I couldn't find the other door. <laughs> Here we go, let's put away that. Let's get out a flare. Just in case. And I've got to kind of orient myself a bit. So there's the... Uh, I think we want to head over this way. I have not explored up by the road yet. And of course I'm already hungry. We definitely have to find some kind of carcass. Or some rabbits. I'd like to head up there and explore that bridge. And we gotta watch out for the bear. I'm 
trying to listen as we go to see if I can hear any wolves or bear walking around. Oh, and we found a wolf. Okay. So let's uh, let's just light a torch this time. I have torches. I think I have torches. There we go. Okay, so we're going to um, let's throw that and. No, not what I wanted. There we go. Thank you for running away, wolf. I didn't want to shoot you. Let's uh, equip that. Really, as as long as it's not too windy, I should just always have a torch out. If I can manage it. It's still kind of tricky for me to uh, drop the torch and relight another torch before it goes out. Okay, so we've got a broken bridge. Is that a Cairn stone? Okay, that's pretty cool. Don't think we can cross that. Some cattails would also be really nice to get some food going on. I gotta remember to watch my torch because I know it's uh, likely to go out. Well, there are crows, so maybe up there there's a carcass we could harvest. Some rose hips. Okay, let's see if we can hurry and relight this. No, 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 no. There we go. probably just need to find a hot key to just bring out a torch right away. I gotta figure that out. Is this a cave? Some kind of cave here. Oh wow, we can enter it. Okay. If we find coal, I guess that would be a good resource right now. Hey! Oh, this is huge. We just found a carcass. Hopefully we can harvest this. Oh, nice. Okay. So let's make a fire. Um, no. Is that a, do I hear a wolf? Let's see. No, I want to pick it up. Pick up the torch. Oh my gosh. There is a wolf right here in the cave. This must be uh, Scruffy's cave. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, also, my dog is wanting to go out. Hello, Ruby. I've got two dogs on me. One, one dog wanting to go outside and one dog wanting to eat me. Yes, I hear you. Hello. What do we do? Uh, should I shoot him? <laughs> I guess I will just shoot him. Um, let's try this out. No, I don't. Lovely.
So the whining sounds you hear in the background are my dog whining. It's, it's not the wolf. I think Scruffy's still alive and running around somewhere. Okay, Ruby, right. let's take a quick break. If I'm not dead after this wolf attack, I'm going to uh, pause the game and I'll be right back. Gotta stop the bleeding before it gets worse. Okay, we are back, and let's uh, let's take a look at the situation. We need to get first aid. So we got blood loss on our right hand. We'll apply a bandage there. Um, do we have any other? Got an infection risk, sprained ankle, and we're in pain, but no more bleeding, so that's good. We do need to apply some Stop. antibiotics. Like an empty pit. So let's use this on our right hand. We should probably light something, huh? Let's light a torch. We'll use, a, we'll use a flare. We got lots of flares. Just in time. Hello, it's Cruffy. Welcome back. Um, we're going to throw this at you a little bit. And then we're going to get out our pistol. Come on back, Scruffy. Hopefully, he will die soon. Let's go ahead and uh, finish our healing. Let's see, we're going to use that. Sprayed ankle, no. Pain. So, we just need some painkillers now. Well, why wouldn't that do anything? It's a painkiller. So we got sprained ankle, wolf bite, right foot. I don't understand. Does this does this work? Okay, that one worked. Man, I could use a drink. Okay, yeah, let's get a drink. Get our flare out. Oh, we dropped all our bullets, didn't we? Huh. So how do we? Can we? How do we? Okay, we just throw it like that. Scruffy's back. Where are you, Scruffy? I think that finished him off. Go check him out. Yep. Sorry, Scruffy. It's either you or me. That sparks a bit. Okay, well that leaves us free to get some deer meat now. So let's start a fire. If I can remember how to do that. Okay, here we go. That's how. Got it. And honestly, we, it's. I think it's warm enough in here. Yeah, it's warm enough. Oh, but we need light, though, to harvest, I think, don't we? So... Let's go ahead and make our uh, fire. Okay. The 
Perfect. And uh, of course we got to add some more, ah. add some more fuel to this. Um, we'll probably be here a while. Let's start with that. Oh, it's only one kilogram. Oh man, I thought we'd get more. Um, so let's go ahead and harvest that. Yeah, I really thought we'd get more, uh... Really hoped we'd get more meat out of that. Why do I wait? Why do I need first aid? Why is it telling me I need first aid? Sprained ankle. Oh, that's it, right? So I'm not bleeding or anything. Let's get some water going while we're at it. Um, okay. So we got the. One kilogram of meat. We may as well get the hide. 30 minutes, 40 minutes. So let's go ahead and harvest the hide. We still have 15 minutes. How's this looking? So let's harvest one of the guts. on our food. Take that. Hopefully it's safe to eat. We'll save it for tonight. Oh, a cup of coffee. Where did... Did I drop that? Interesting. Let's leave. Let's uh, let's move this over here. All right, let's move you here. Move you over here. There we go. So we got eight minutes. Um, let's harvest one more gut. Okay, so we got everything on the deer, I think, right? Nothing left to harvest. Okay, nice. Um, we do want we do want some more torches. We'll take some torches, and I really need to practice with torches. I gotta get a lot more skilled with these, dropping them and stuff like that. I'm not sure I can carry much more. And then, uh, we go have a look around in this cave. Now that Scruffy's gone, we actually could spend the night here if we needed to. Let's see what time it is. Oh, it's only noon. Time till it's ready, then take that, pick up that, light our torch. Let's go have a look around. We could harvest Scruffy. Um, he he will provide some meat, but there's a high risk of parasites with predatory animals. 
Um, but it would probably be good to take his uh, fur coat. Although we have really good clothing. It's a bit, but I'll make it. Don't know that we would need to uh, make anything out of his cloak, out of his fur. But I'll think about that. That smarts a bit. What do we have here? More carcasses from Scruffy. Scruffy's uh, other uh, victims. Hey, we got another carcass. Oh, that is great. And meat. It's ruined. But maybe if we cook it, it'd be all right. I don't know. You know, I can't really blame Scruffy for attacking us. We were in his cave and trying to take his food away. Okay, so let's throw this torch. Ow. Here we go. Hmm. I'm gonna need some first aid soon. Hey, got some goods over here. Rifle cartridge, flare. <laughs> Dog food. Looks like it's in pretty good shape. That's a really good find. Painkillers. It's almost like they knew we would need those <laughs> with uh, Scruffy here. Those gloves look pretty good. Okay, so we got a deer carcass here. Love that. Let's go ahead and. Uh... What? Is that a horn? Oh, okay, it's a deer. Got it. Um, I'd like to see if we can harvest this in the dark. I don't know if that's a thing or not. Well, we do have lots of fuel. You know what? Let's let's try it. I'm going to I'm going to see if we can harvest this. Let's harvest that. So it looks like we can harvest in the dark. Let's get the hide. Let's use our hands on that. And the guts. It's much quicker with the knife, so we'll, we'll use the knife. Nice, now we are pretty tired. We're pretty tired now. I don't know how much farther we can go, but I would like to explore the cave. We may need to drink a cup of coffee to wake up. It's like a dead end over here. Okay. Another thing I'd like to do would be to uh, make some herbal tea so that when we rest, we will heal a lot of the damage we took. Sorry, Scruffy. Now let's, uh, let's harvest his carcass, unless we're too tired. It may, it may say we're too tired. Got 30 minutes with the knife or 40 without. Nice, okay.
are probably really heavy. So, yeah, Scruffy took a chunk out of us. Looks like we're about, what, 40% health? Very tired, very hungry, but we did find some food. Okay, what is this? Is the abyss? Is this a... An overlook, or is this a place we haven't been yet? I don't know. I'm hoping to get a rifle soon. That would be really helpful. I think... I think this is where we've already been. I don't know, should I try to go down there? That's quite a drop. I'll go back around. Yeah, I wouldn't mind just sleeping here. Uh, maybe cooking up some meat. See, if we walk back with raw meat, then we're going to attract wolves and the bear. And we're not in any kind of good shape for that. I didn't even bring extra bullets. But all things considered, even though we took a lot of damage from Scruffy, uh, I do think this was worth it. Just to get that food and uh, some of those supplies. Okay, let's, uh, let's head back this way and I'm gonna... Uh, we'll make a fire and... Okay, there's the exit. Actually, I mean, it's warm enough in here. I don't even think we need a fire. Okay, I don't want to leave the cave. So we'll stay right here. I'm going to put out the lantern. Oh wait, it's way dark. I'm going to light the lantern. <laughs> there we go. Okay, light. We'll put that right here. Um, let's get out our bedroll. Um, is that the under... no, campcraft? There we go. There's our bedroll. Put that there. And then let's drink some herbal tea. So that will improve our healing. Um, okay, we've got the venison. This is really bad shape venison. Oh, and it's raw also, so that's not good. Let's eat this. I'd always prefer to eat the meat rather than canned stuff because the meat has a smell. So, looks like that's ruined. Yeah, that's bad. If we improve our cooking skill a lot, then we can actually eat ruined meat. But that's going to be a long time before before we uh, are good enough at that. So let's let's move that over here. Put that right there. Um, is it worth cooking the other ones? You know, maybe I'll cook them in the morning. It looks like we're probably good enough on calories to go ahead and sleep. Uh, I'll go ahead and drink one of these just to kind of top us off. Drink some water.
Okay, let's pick this up and uh, put it out. Okay, storm lantern. There we go. So we've got lots of food. We got uh, water, we're warm. Let's see if we can sleep 11 hours. Nice. Look how much we healed. Oh, that was so good. Okay. So the herbal tea coupled with us being really tired and sleeping 11 hours, that made a huge difference for us healing. Uh, let's go ahead and light this. Okay. Well, I think this is a good place to stop. We're in a good we're in a good situation. We got our health back up. Um, we got a little bit more food, more supplies. We've explored the map. Uh, we got the hide from Scruffy. We got two deer hides and some guts. We can uh, we can drop and cure back at our. Um, back at our base. I wonder now if we had dropped the guts in here would they cure? I should I probably should have done that before I went to sleep. I don't know if they cure inside a cave or not. I, they need to be indoors. Um, I want it, it may have worked out that uh, it could cure while we were sleeping. At any rate uh, boy it's been an adventure. Um, I really was not planning to find a dog, uh, a wolf in here and uh, reacted poorly of course uh, I just need to learn these hot keys a lot better um, and, and just get practice I guess with uh, dropping torches and getting out uh, weapons things like that um, but again appreciate your guys patience with me I am I am brand new with this I have watched people play a lot but I have not played this game more than uh, maybe 10 minutes before we started this whole series just to kind of get the feel of everything so uh, mechanically I have a lot to learn um, but this, this has been a lot of fun so I will catch you in the next episode and we're gonna continue trying to survive and uh, get out of this desolation at some point this is their desolation point so thanks for hanging out with me and I'll catch you in the next episode take care